Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will share with you an easy technique to add glamour to your jewelry to make your photos look like from a luxury magazine. So, here we have a beautiful photo of a golden watch. The first step to get that glamorous look is to give more warmth to the photo and get rid of the distractions in the background. Looks like a hell of a job, but with this technique, it's a child's job. First, let's add a fill layer and set its color to black. And here comes the magic. Put the blend mode to reflect. Look at that, just amazing. Now, we just need to make a little bit more fine adjustments to make it even more amazing. Gold always looks more glamorous when there's a red tint in it. So I'm going to change the fill layers color from pure black to black with a red orange tint. This gives that extra golden look. To finish this step, I will now duplicate this layer. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty cool. Now the final step to finish it up is to add some shine and highlights to it. Easiest way of doing this is by adding an empty pixel layer and filling the pixel layer with black. Once the pixel layer is black, let's set its blend mode to color dodge. To paint in the highlights, select a soft brush with a very low flow, around 5%, and paint with white on the areas you want to add that extra shine. I'm just going to paint on the existing shiny areas to give them that extra punch of shine. It will be a very subtle difference, but depending on your image or what you want to achieve, you can paint in more shine. If you made a mistake or painted too much, you can just fix it by painting it back with black. And there we are. Let's have a look at the before and the after. That was pretty easy, right? Let's have a look at another image. Before I apply the two steps I mentioned earlier, I want to fix the color cast in the image. Currently it's a little bit dull. Easy way of removing the color cast is by adding a fill layer and then selecting from an area that you think it should be white. Now, if I set the blend mode to the fill layer to difference, we get a much more natural looking photo. Perfect. Now let's apply the first step, which is adding a dark reflect layer. Awesome. I think this is pretty good looking already and probably I would keep it like this. But for demonstration purposes, let's say we don't want the overall image to be affected. Well, in that case, we need to mask it by adding a mask layer and inverting the mask. Now we can paint in with white on the mask to reveal the effect only on the necklace. Again, as just with the first image, I'm going to change the color of the fill from pure black to a black with a red tint to bring back more warmth to the necklace. If you think the effect is too much, compared to the rest of the image, we can apply a blend range to blend it in better. Excellent, now step two, adding the shine and the glow. Just as before, I will add a black pixel layer with the blend mode set to color dodge. Paint with a low flow brush on the areas that you feel needs the shine. Pretty awesome. This method is quite flexible. If you want more glow or a different tint in the gold, you can easily adjust the blackness in the reflect fill layer. Okay, one final tip before I leave you. Let's go back to the first image. As we have two reflect layers in this image, you can modify the color of the second reflect fill layer to give it a nice color cast. For example, in this image, a green color cast fits very well, especially as there was some green in the background. I hope you like this technique and thanks again for watching.